When looking at the Legends Pinball, the first thing I thought about was how easy it would be to add an arcade control panel to the apron area. I did that very thing in my own custom virtual pinball cabinet build way back in 2015. I had a two player arcade control panel as you can see here. Then eventually that evolved to this monstrosity that you can see here that even the space shuttle would think is too much. Eventually, I settled down to a one-player control panel. At the time, many thought it was a crazy idea. No one else was really doing that. But as I showed off more videos, people saw how cool it would be to see especially vertical games, but even regular arcade games played on the vertical screen in a pinball cabinet. Then after that, my craziness went even further by showing off how cool it would be to have addressable LED effects combined with arcade games and their controls. So I was quite happy to see that At Games has made available an arcade control panel add-on option for the Legends Pinball. I'd like to take this moment to thank At Games who has sent me an arcade control panel to play around with and to give my impressions and my experiences with it. So let's get on with the Red View. The arcade control panel for the Legends Pinball is listed at $200 US on their website. It's a drop-in panel that features an 8-way digital joystick, precision trackball, 6 action buttons, and upgraded larger exciters. Installing the arcade control panel is an absolute breeze and very straightforward. Remove the front 3 screws and lockdown bar. Remove the right side trim screws and then remove the right side trim. Remove the left side trim screws and then remove the left side trim. Now the front panel with the D-pad can be easily lifted up and taken out. The D-pad and exciter cables both need to be unplugged. Now we get a look inside the Legends Pinball. At the bottom, you will see two cables, one for the exciters, one for the USB. Both will be plugged into the arcade control panel. Here is a look at the new arcade control panel. And on the back, you can see the new exciters on the left and right side. And you can also see where we will be plugging in the USB cable and the exciters cable from inside the cabinet. After connecting those two cables, the new arcade control panel drops easily into place. Finally, reinstall the trim on both sides, the lockdown bar, and all their screws. Then your installation is all done. Now we have opened up a whole new world on the Legends Pinball. The stick will replace the D-pad functions. That combined with the arcade buttons makes navigating all the menu and front end systems that much easier. The buttons on the arcade panel are not mirroring or replacing any buttons on the cabinet. That brings a total of 14 buttons with both combined. The arcade control panel controls work fantastically with any arcade games you may have installed on external storage using the add-on X feature or using the CoinOps X front end feature. 
when connected to the PC using the OTG feature, the arcade control panel combined with the cabinet controls will give you 14 buttons and the stick will act as the D-pad. The trackball will act like a real trackball and will operate mouse functions. Now I'll show a few demos showing games being played directly on the Legends Pinball with the arcade controller. And now I'll show a couple examples of MAME being played on the PC using OTG. And lastly, a couple of PC games being played over OTG using the arcade control. And this last example is a silly mod I made years ago where I replaced Wreck-It Ralph with, uh, well, my wife's head. And uh, my wife's nickname is Bez, so I thought I'd call it Bash It Bez. So, yeah, silly fun. <laughs> Now we come to the part where I talk about the things I didn't like and the things I did like about the Legends Pinball RK Control Panel add-on. Alright everyone, so first I'm going to talk about the things I did not like about this uh, RK Control Panel add-on. Not many things I didn't like, it's a very short list which is great. Uh, the the, the what, first one is basically more of a technical thing. When you use this over OTG and you see the controller in Windows, when you go to map buttons in any games or programs, the button numbering on both the arcade control panel and the Legends Pinball for that matter is all over the place. It is not in a normal order. So what I mean is like they don't have like say buttons one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the Legends Pinball and then nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's not like that. They're just numbers all over the place, you know? Uh, so it's just, I've never seen a controller ever do that. And it could be rather confusing to people who don't know about how this stuff works. So that that's something that could be fixed in a firmware update. So I, I would really like to see them kind of get that in a nice proper order, like pretty much all controllers normally are in Windows. Uh, the second thing would be, the, okay, so the exciters. The newer exciters on this are actually really nice. I really like them, but the problem is they are attached directly to the plastic here. Like, it's literally on them. So the problem is when you have very loud haptic feedback, it will rattle. Uh, it, 
it should have, in my opinion, instead of the, the kind of like the big hole cut out on the sides there, it should be just redded out and still have a little bit of wood left over on the panel and the exciter should be attached to that. And in that way it won't rattle as much. Uh, you know, that that's, that's one thing I, I would have preferred seeing. And it's like that on the normal panel as well for that matter, not just the arcade control panel. Uh, and the last thing, and it's the one that everyone seems to always uh, mention, is uh, the price. Uh, $200 is a bit much. Uh, I mean, we are in still pandemic mode, so things are going to be a little more costly than normal. And you are getting exciters with this, which I don't think any of their other, other uh, controllers have that. So yeah, you know, I mean, it's a little pricey, pricey for what you're getting here, but you are getting the extra exciters and you are getting a very unique, you know, bonus add-on that wasn't a necessity for the Legends Pinball, but it's a fantastic add-on. So, you know, a little costly, sure. You know, it'd be nicer if it was cheaper, but it still feels a, a great need though for those who want it. All right, and so that's... now let's talk about the things I did like about the RK Control Panel add-on. First things first, I like that they have a short stick here. Uh, instead of a, you know, a normally a long one, uh, that way it stays low, out of sight when you're playing any of your games like pinball or anything like that, it's not up in the way and it, it works perfectly. It's actually really nice, so I, I really like that. Uh, the other thing about the stick I also like is it uses an octagonal gate. So what that means is not just a circular gate when you move your stick around, it actually has you know an octagonal shape. Now that's good for like an all-purpose stick for when you want to play, for example, four-way directional arcade games like Pac-Man, for example, or you know uh, anything like that. It, it makes it easier to not go into the corners as much. You know, it's not perfect, but as an all-around one singular joystick, you're probably going to want that. At least I personally prefer that. Uh, I like. The finish here, that it's all nice and black, you know, like that everything just matches the trim. You know, it's not any crazy coloring or anything like that. It's just simple black. It looks nice and we don't have yet another logo. <laughs> you know, I, I know everyone needs their branding. I get that, you know, but there's plenty on this thing already. So we don't need another one on there. So it's nice to not have that down here as well. It just looks much sharper with everything being in black like that. I, I really, it really looks good. I, I wish the legs were, uh, done the same color uh, and oh as far as what you actually get on here like the stick six buttons trackball I mean that's that's perfect for what you need for almost every arcade game out there all the major ones it'll work with almost everything one way or another sure it would have been nice to have maybe two more buttons for eight buttons but for arcade games I, I, I don't know if there is any that actually will use all eight buttons but you know so that's it's a, it's a and it's nicely spaced it, it's not too crowded you know, like maybe you could have had like maybe a, a start and another button here for like coin and start, you know, I mean, we have those down below, so you don't really need it. So, it, it, and it doesn't look super cluttered. So, you know, it, it, it looks nice. I, I like the way they did that. Uh, the buttons that are on here, as I mentioned before, are extras. So what I mean by that is they, they didn't kind of cheap out and try to make these buttons just mirror all the buttons on the cabinet so you actually have separate buttons for each which means you have a lot of buttons to use and that's really nice when you get into like say pinball fx3 or other pinball games for example that need extra buttons that you may not be able to easily use on here or at all so then you got extra buttons now to use which is great and then for any pc games it's awesome so it, that's it's a good choice that they made that uh, the navigating you know once you have this thing like you know navigating around here is so much easier you know, you can use a stick and then A, B, you know, to go forward and back. It's just so much nicer, you know, way, way, way easier. And you can use that, like say, and pin a popper if you want, you know, to try to configure things that way instead of using the side buttons really for uh, doing PC on, uh, on the go stuff or OTG, I should say. <laughs> uh, and the trackball, I, I really like this trackball. Like it's, you know, I, if, God, it's probably been 20 plus years since I've actually played an arcade game with a real trackball. And, you know, so it's been a while, but you know, it feels great. It's smooth, it's precise. It's, you know, exactly what it needs to be. So yeah, it's, it's really nice. And finally, the last thing is uh, modding. I mean, this thing is extremely easy to mod, easy to get access to, easy if you want to swap these out for like LED buttons or a crazy LED stick, or some guys like to put the servo stick in there that switches between four-way gated and eight-way or whatever, you know, like there's lots that you can easily do to mod this and it's easy to access all that, you know, and also 
they had uh, the, I think the plan so that if you wanted to print out your own graphics to put on here, you could do that as well. So yeah, you know, exactly what it needs to be for uh, all you modders out there. And yeah, I, I, I basically sums up all the things, the major things I really like about it. You know, it's exact, works great with the, the native tables or not the native table, the tables that the native uh, games uh, when you're playing on uh, Add-on X or CoinOps X and it works great on the PC. Uh, it does exactly what it needs to and that's all you can ask for. In conclusion, I finally, finally feel redeemed from all the criticism I got for adding an arcade panel to a pinball cabinet years ago. Clearly this is something many people will want and I'm glad At Games created this plug and play option for the Legends Pinball. The new exciters it has are a bit nicer for haptic feedback. I like the almost flat surface buttons and uh, the short stick that uses an octagonal gate. The trackball feels great, the black finish blends perfectly with the rest of the trim, and finally it converts the Legends Pinball into a supersized vertical gaming arcade cabinet and opens up massive possibilities for more games that can be played on the system natively or on the PC using OTG. It's a great add-on that any Legends Pinball owner will enjoy. Do not buy a product based on my experiences alone. There are many other people out there that have been using this product much longer than I have and they have their own experiences. Do your own additional research and be much better informed. That wraps up this video. I'd like to again thank At Games for providing the arcade control panel to play around with. And for everyone else, I'll see you in my next video.